Hello everyone, uh, this is question number 13 of the Certified Jenkins Engineer uh, series. So quickly coming back to question 13, um, a Jenkins executor is one of the basic building blocks which allow a build to run on a node or an agent, example a build server. Think of an executor as a single process ID or as the basic unit of resource that Jenkins executes on your machines to run a build. What is the default number of executors which are available in a Jenkins master? Okay, so first of all, it's explaining what's a Jenkins executor and then what is the default number of executors. So A, default number of executors is 2. You can always change this value later on. B, this is depending on the setting you initially use during Jenkins installation. Whatever value you put there is used as a Jenkins default executor count. C, executors are not set at the VM or master agent level. Rather, they're set at the pipeline level. So you have to specify the number of executors when you create a pipeline, not before that. D, the default number of executors is 5. You cannot change this value later on. So, first of all, let's go to the documentation and see what is an executor. So, see, the same thing they're saying. It's one of the basic building blocks which allows a build to run on a node or an agent. Example, a build server. Think of the executor as a single process ID or as a basic unit of resource that Jenkins executes on your machine to run a build. So for example, if you are VM, you are setting that my number of executors is 4. So basically, you can run 4 jobs parallelly on that agent because one executor represents one parallel execution step in your process. Okay. So if I come to my system setup, you can see that this number of executors is there, which is 2. Okay. And this is something you will see in your master setup. So number of executors, you can always change it. Okay. So for example, say I set number of executors. So if you see here, you will see the build executor status. So both of my executors on my master is idle. Now, if I just set it to four and save. Ah, sorry, one second. Let me, uh, maybe, one second. Uh, 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 Manage Jenkins. Come here, configure system. There's some crash. Yeah. Uh, so you can see, see, what are the number of executors? One, two, three, four, four executors in my system. All four of them are idle. Okay. Now let me try to do very quickly something for you guys. Let me try to run a pipeline which was working. So just a test job. It should run. So let me just quickly do run will now and then come here. Okay, so uh, let me refresh. Ideally, it should run. One second. Let it just run. Sorry. Okay, it is running number one. So I just wanted to show you that it is not refreshing automatically because the build just finished. It's such a quick build that it just finished. But basically, as soon as we'll run a build, it will consume one of your nodes. Okay, one of your executors on one of your nodes. So for example, in Windows Server, if I go here and if I just go to Manage Nodes and if i just go to my windows server i configure it and i make the number of executors three okay then you will see something if you go then back to jenkins you will see three executors here now if i run i can run three parallel jobs here okay so my default number of executors however is two okay so that is my default number of executors for my master node so the correct answer is basically this is the correct answer and this is not nothing this has nothing to do with the Jenkins installation as such okay so you during a Jenkins installation, you will never find any setting or configuration where you can uh, set the number of executors for your um, uh, for your uh, master server or something and no uh, C is also incorrect because uh, the executors are not set uh, at a job level okay uh, executors are not set in the job you can just specify uh, the node that you want to run your job on but you cannot specify the number of executors as such uh, by default and D the default number of executors 5 is not correct it is 2 so the answer is A default number of executors is 2 so C maybe you will not get a question of default number of executors but 
understanding the executive concept is important that it is a process which is actually running my build and I can increase my concurrency of builds by increasing this number obviously there will be a limit I cannot maybe for example run 100 because uh, at the end of the day my resources uh, on the VM have a specific cap or the upper limit uh, so there are uh, formulas also on how many uh, st uh, you should set so if you come here for example uh, there are formulas also uh, I uh, one second I uh, will have to find that part this was somewhere where you can actually have some sort of a formula for example how many executors should you set on your build node it has a dependency on the number of jobs but you can at least start somewhere and then if you see a lot of your executors are jobs are staffed so what does staff means meaning you are running more jobs than your number of available executors so you will come here and you will see that the waiting time of your jobs is used so ev nothing is idle so when you are running your job everybody is running something so your job has to wait in the queue for the next available executor this is if this is happening uh, for a long time then there's a good indication that you either need to increase the number of executors okay on your machine if possible or increase the number of nodes okay and ideally your master node should have no executor or maybe one or two executors but just to run a few restricted jobs so here I made four just for the use case just to explain okay so the answer is a and this was quick one but please understand the Jenkins execution concept the executor concept how the processes run there there are detailed articles uh, if I find later I will add to in the comment section on formulas on how you can estimate a potential number of executors and a potential number of nodes to support a potential number of jobs uh, thank you everyone take care